If you've ever been in downtown LA, maybe on Olive or Hope, on foot between museums like Mocha or the Broad or the Music Center or the Courthouse, or you're going to the Ketchum Downtown YMCA, you might have noticed a small access street that doesn't go anywhere, a small street with a long name. I'm going to talk about, here we go, General Thaddeus Cost. Chuko way. Cause Chuko. Can't be right, but okay. First pronounce Mazatlan for me <laughs> and then move on to this. Mazatlan. That's what I do when I do <laughs> Mazatlan. It's referred to as GTKW. Are we playing a Grand Theft Auto game? A GTKW is only two blocks existing between Olive and Hope Street going underneath Grand and giving you all kinds of industrial noir looks. I thought that the scene from Mystery Men was filmed there, but it might not be. <laughs> the it, scene where they're listening to Smash Mouth? Yeah, you got it. Dana Gould's there and I'm like, who's this guy? And then years later, I'm his biggest fan. We're talking about the lead singer. Of we're talking Smash about Man. Dan, yeah. We're talking about lead singer. What is that? I feel like I need that guy's name. I would text you right I now. I would just like, assume him, Guy Fieri. GTKW is an access road mostly used by the city. It was formerly named Second Place, and it was atop <laughs> Bunker Hill. Second Place was a nothing street. What an made. awful name. Second, second place. place. Second Place was a. That's just your nickname. Um. Second Place was <laughs> if a. If I were a street, <laughs> if a street were going to be named after me, it would be Second Place, and then a little sign under it: Daniel's Afrin Memorial Way. <laughs> he died in Second Place. <laughs> he died the way he lived on Second. <laughs> place he died furiously fighting to be second place at something <laughs> second place was a nothing street made as bunker hill was being redeveloped from a working class residential neighborhood to skyscraper city which happened in 1970 1971 i also read a couple times that the street was just nameless but i don't know if it was nameless or if second place beside second street makes it nothing it was a street that nobody thought of giving a name our story starts in 1976 with mary jadula a self-described quote unquote little lady from Burbank well not really our story really starts in 1746 in oh, Poland oh. with Thaddeus Kaz Chuko was born into a wealthy estate where it's said that 31 peasant families worked for his father and at an early age he was introduced to the democratic ideals of John Locke and the ancient Greeks he learned classical painting and sculpting in Paris and was educated on civil engineering and the strategies from Europe's authority on forts and sieges in June of whatever 17- that means I like you was like yeah I don't know I'm not gonna look up what a brig- <laughs> yeah. brigadier yeah. does I don't want to look up what Bridget Bardot means in the military. They gave me a award in the army and I'm Bridget Bardot. What does this mean? The other two I did research on, I was scrounging for any bit of information I could get. <laughs> this one, when it comes to the street name, it's pretty obvious and there were some articles, but the man like yours is like an unknown hero of the country. And I'm this like, country. this country, America. Okay. In June of 1776 in Paris, Kostchuko heard the American colonists needed engineers. June of 1776, you know, a colonist, you were a month away from signing the Declaration of Independence and saying smell you later to English <laughs> Rule. But it we took, do mean smell. But it took Thaddeus two months to get here because he was shipwrecked in Martinique. Oh, Cause, boo-hoo. <laughs> oh, poor thing. Um, <laughs> I've been shipwrecked in Sherman Oaks for the past year. Because Chuko is an essential figure in the Revolutionary War, even with broken English. He mostly spoke French to people until he like could, could piece together Lafayette. English. He was very useful to colonial army. He helped Benjamin Franklin design and build forts on the Delaware River to defend Philadelphia from the British Navy. Designs he created were helping defend the American army from the British from forts to something called a floating log bridge. Uh, his greatest contribution was helping fortify and defend the Hudson River, which the okay. Battle of Saratoga was a turning point for colonists during the war. A lot of people thank Kosciuszko for that. Huh. Well, you know what's interesting? This is crazy that I can even rattle these facts off. I think they used, as part of defending the Hudson River, they put like giant chain links mm-hmm. across, which oh, sounds insane. God. But I think they have supposedly some of those chain links in one of the forest lawns. Oh, really? I think I remember that. And I guess this guy was part of that. He should have just like dirty notes written on there, like scratched in there. Yeah. Um, Thaddeus Hart. <laughs> <laughs> Marquis de Lafayette and Benjamin Franklin, sure. He was friends with the founding fathers. It's said that his intelligence was equal to George Washington. He was ideal. No, I- no not <laughs> the smartest American GW ever never lies. He was idealistic and smart. He believed in democracy and he also wanted to end slavery and was trying to convince Thomas Jefferson to do that. It said that Kostchuko was willing to pay Jefferson's debt. He was deep in debt if Jefferson would free his slaves. That was like <laughs> in his will that all this money would be granted if you could release your slaves and he never did. During the war, he got to know black soldiers, in particular a freed black man named Agrippa Hull who fought for the Continental Army and signed up when he was 18 to work for Kostchuko and Hull and Kostchuko both had witnessed on many occasions that slaves were pledging their lives to the British Army for freedom which the Brits promised them slavery was the crux of the war this wasn't even the Civil War this is a Revolutionary War and they were seeing that how important this was to the slaves and freeing the slaves would take power away from the British Army on our own turf clearly not the only reason (laughs) a free black man a Polish 
first military officer who wanted to end slavery. Nor was it the most important, but it was because Shuka was unique at the time because he saw slaves and African Americans as human beings, and them living in bondage was an abomination. And he could see a way to convince white Americans to maybe end slavery. Right. Yeah. To so if help you're not going to do war. it for the right reason, do it for the selfish for the reason. <laughs> but they didn't, and Jefferson <laughs> never freed his slaves. And let's get back to General Rosecrans, because Shuka, time and time again, proved himself to have more intelligence and courage than Thomas Jefferson, a founding father and scumbag who I wish could have died like three or four times. Kostyuko was made a U.S. citizen after the war and in 1784 returned to Poland hoping to apply the ideals of the Declaration of Independence to Poland, hoping, I think, to free it from Russian and Prussian aggressions. Like after- Russian and Prussian aggression? Russian and Prussian aggression. <laughs> Prussian aggression will not stand. He met and distrusted Napoleon, who he met later in life. <laughs> what? Um, yeah, these two stories are like, what? What? He was sought after by different rulers and military men, but many saw his ideals of social reform too unrealistic. He died in 1817. This was a very quick general summary of this man who sounds like a genuine hero, like a Polish he never, hero of he America. Never, and there's so few. He yeah. never came to uh, Los Angeles, no. though. Okay. No. Now we cut to 1976 to Spain on the West Coast. Oh, I mean uh, Los Angeles, <laughs> California. Western Spain. A Polish-American woman named Mary Jadula, our little lady from Brink, wrote the LA City Council requesting that a street be dedicated to the Polish hero of the Revolutionary War, General Thaddeus. Kostyuko. They immediately rejected it without any discussion on the grounds that it was too hard to pronounce. I'll and stop you too at long. Polish. Yeah, I'll, I'll stop you at general. You can call the general right now. <laughs> For the best car insurance rates in town? <laughs> so the two When's reasons, he going to get a street? Right? Honestly? Come on. Are it we not, the phone number. How are we not talking the about The billboard that? should become a street name. <laughs> and while we're at it, give Sweet James a street as well. Give Ariana's insurance a street. <laughs> Want a better butt road? <laughs> Want a better butt? How about Want a road? Want a better butt boulevard? So the Alley City Council said no to this idea, pretty much without discussion, but they right away were like, it's too long and it's too hard to pronounce. Mm, not an unfair complaint. It would take up a lot of space on a street sign, according to the city engineer, Art Dennis. Alley only has four street names that have three lines of lettering. San Fernando Mission Boulevard. It's pretty long. Commodore Sloat Drive. My favorite, maybe yours as well, Edward Everett Horn Lane, <laughs> who we covered before, both actor and street. He was the narrator of Fractured Fairy Tales, which of course oh, yeah, 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 yeah. we would see Rocky I- Bull. Up that was one of the streets I considered doing, actually. Really? Yeah. There's even weirder stuff connected with that story. There's like an egg commune, like a commune what? of people who raise chickens or something. Okay, anyway. we, we, we'll have to cover that. I forget why we talked about his house being demolished. Yeah, I don't remember why either. Uh, maybe when we talked about freeways? We might have been talking about cartoons. That's when he got brought up, but I feel like so, in yeah, another maybe, episode yeah, we maybe brought up why he was... Down or something. They paved fractured fairy tales and put up a freeway. Almost as catchy. So they rejected Mary Jadula's J- proposal. Proposal on bad grounds and from what i understand one of the local newspapers sort of made a joke about her proposal i don't i couldn't figure out what that was this was the wrong move for several reasons how many polish suggestions <laughs> does it take to get a street name this mocking and their outright rejection felt like it was belittling polish people mm-hmm. belittled kostyuko and it made the little old lady from burbank mad mm-hmm. jadula was both proud of her polish heritage and of the men and women who served this country her brother casimir served in world war ii in general Patton's third armored division and her husband served in world war ii in korea as well retiring as a major what kind of major major league um so this proposal what for kostyuko wasn't a light matter to her she continued to write in to the city council pushing for the general to be honored with a street name after him i don't know if it was jadula that tipped them off but polish americans across the country share their outrage on the matter and pointed out that kostyuko not only has three street names after him in other cities but there are two towns one in mississippi one in texas named after kostyuko hmm. i couldn't figure out what they were though uh there's this one town called kostyuko and yeah, I, I can't I figure out what's called jadula's campaign worked and in 1977 the city council were swayed completely 180 voting um, full 360 full 360 back to nothing they were voted 13 to 0 on the name change as LA Curb ends their entry on this it was a win for the revolutionary war enthusiasts and Polish Americans across the country <laughs> Jadula was thrilled with the outcome the name was the, officially the crossover there is so wide <laughs> so wide uh, we all know somebody who was thrilled about this the name was officially changed to General Thaddeus Kachuko in 1978 there's not a single address on the street because it's an industrial access road <laughs> but one can dream someday I'll live on this <laughs> industrial access road. 